please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine on YouTube for everything sailing, the lifestyle and travel, the realities of the sailing lifestyle, food, cooking, scuba diving, spear fishing, all the shit that we do. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine. Please subscribe. Thank you.
a few years ago I went to Europe on a road trip. So I really, really love road trips going across America. And we went to a lot of states. And every year my dad took two weeks off to drive us somewhere. And we didn't get to go on a big trip to fly anywhere until I was in high school. We flew our first big trip when my parents had more money was Hawaii. So um, I don't remember exactly, maybe freshman in high school or sophomore, he flew us for Christmas to go to Halloween. Um, Hawaii to Honolulu. So that was our first airplane trip. So that was really exciting for us. So we got to see the luau, drive around Honolulu. So that was very exciting. So that was our first, I think, overflight trip. But before that, my first over uh, international trip was when I was 13 or 14. My sister was supposed to go with my mom to Europe, but um, Ever since high school in um, English class, which is Bumate's class, she had posters of castles. Um, I don't know what country it was in, but just castles all over the classroom. And I would look up at the castles and just want to go traveling. And I always wanted to visit the castles. And my sister knew that. So when it was her time to go to Europe with my mom, she volunteered me instead telling my mom, why don't you take Christine instead and not me? Because she didn't really care to go. So my mom took me when I was 13 or 14. We went to France, Paris. It was our first stop for a few days or a week. Paris, we went to Switzerland to visit another friend. And then we went to Venezia, Venice, which I recently just visited. So my mom took me to Venice, just me and her. Because my cousin didn't want to go, so she stayed behind Switzerland. So at 13, I had to navigate the uh, train schedule. So I remember my mom being very paranoid about us missing the train. So she made me keep asking if we were on the right train, um, if we were on the right platform. So we spent a whole day in Venice, and I had a very toasty pasta lunch, and my mom wanted to take me on the gondola which at that time was maybe like $80, $70, but to me it was too expensive and I didn't really care so I said no. So we did that. So recently for my 44th birthday, I just turned 44 a few days ago, um, I went back to Venice to celebrate and that's my third time in Venice. So it's very memorable. Good morning up to Vancouver, Canada. And that was a really exciting trip because we had my other family members with us, so that was very memorable. So all our trips we took was very affordable because my dad just uh, put us all in the Motel 6, Super 8, so all the cheeky little motels along the road, and he'll sneak us in because he didn't want to pay for four kids, so that's what I remember. One of my first memories of a road trip I think it's one of our first road trips ever. We might have been at um, Grand Canyon. And I asked, I go, where are we sleeping tonight? And my parents joked, saying, we're gonna sleep in the streets and we're gonna leave you with the road. And I remember crying and crying. I didn't want to sleep in the streets because we didn't camp during that time or we didn't really camp ever growing up. And then my sisters and my brother would tease me. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine on YouTube for everything sailing, the lifestyle and travel, the realities of the sailing lifestyle, food, cooking, scuba diving, spear fishing, all the shit that we do. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine. Please subscribe. Thank you.